Hi everyone, so those of you who have got call from Niti Bombay, uh, PGDIE or PGDSM, you know there are some topics which are related to uh, sustainability management and industrial engineering from where they tend to ask you the questions. On the basis of the last year uh, interviews and uh, what is expected this year, some 18-20 very important topics and subtopics among these are to be covered. Uh, Europedia on the panel has kept all these topics including this document and you can go and see this particular topics there, they are very very important. Also Europedia has started the intro guidance module uh, for NITI students and that is at very cheap rate I think 1000 rupees or so in which you can avail 5 mocks and uh, mentors are going to ask you question on the basis of your CV on the basis of the information which you have provided to them in NITI on the basis of that mentors are going to ask you questions. So, uh, only couple of days are left, but I believe time is sufficient for us to prepare. So, uh, you can seek the help of uh, mentors of Europedia and you can prepare really well for uh, NITI. Now, let me tell you uh, what are the important topics in the industrial engineering which you should go for it. Uh, you know, you this institute is PGDIE, industrial engineering. So, that means you should have knowledge about industrial engineering. Sometime he ask you the question what is industrial engineering and difference between industrial engineering, industrial management because there is PGDIM also through CAT, PGDIE is through GATE, PGDIM is through CAT, so he tends to ask question difference between the two. Similarly, operation research, operation management, engineering and management, he asks you the difference between the these. Linear programming, uh, transportation assignment, optimization, these kind of questions normally from industrial engineering and those of you who are from uh, mechanical engineering background, industrial engineering is a very important subject for them. Those of you who are in job and are working in some related domain, from them also these questions are asked. Similarly, what is systems engineering, what is ergonomics, human factor engineering, what is inventory and how latest technological breakthroughs like data science and all, they are affecting the inventory. I mean data science and all, how they are affecting the inventory, uh, impact of data science on inventory, on you know forecasting, those kind of things are also asked to you, those who are from uh, mechanical engineering background and because you know this uh, NITI is uh, you know Makka for uh, supply chain management so you at least you should know what is supply chain management and if you are from pharma sector he is going to ask you what is the supply chain management of typically pharma industry. If you are from IT he is going to ask you what is the uh, supply chain management uh, supply chain of a typical IT is industry those kind of questions they are going to ask you. And then you know these basic things like ABC analysis, economic order quantity, Kahneman system, forecasting, all these are basic questions from where he tends to ask you questions. And in addition to that, what is sustainability management, what is sustainability for you, what, is, what are the sustainability development goals and since India is chairing G20 summit this year, so uh, G20 say related questions can be asked, what are the various agendas, global warming, Kyoto protocol, those kind of things can be asked from sustainability. When you go inside, then you will find many other things are also covered in this particular document. So like operation research, how do you define operation research, what do you study in operation research? What is operation research domains, what are operation management, so what do you study in operation management, so do you know some kind of things in operation management. So the moment you start reading this document many things will pop up and you will start understanding the things like what is where what are the various kind of resources in the industries, what do you understand by linear programming, what is the objective of linear programming, can you suggest some techniques of linear programming, what do you understand by transportation, assignment models, the difference between the two, so do you understand the difference between these industrial management, industrial engineering, okay you talk about supply chain but do you really know what is supply chain, what is supply chain management and what things should be focused in that and uh, what is the systems engineering and uh, what do you mean by system engineering actually human factor engineering what is human factor what is the ergonomics those kind of things and uh, you know then ergonomics ko, how do you define it so uh, ergonomics ka example if you can give inventory what are the inventory models and what is the you know classification of the inventories what is the inventory management what is the typical terms like just in time just in case economic order quantity, how do you understand this all, ABC analysis. Now as I told you these are basic things for uh, you know uh, engineering graduates who are trying to think of going for NITI Bombay and this entire document you should go through once that is what my understanding is and uh, depending upon your background like you are electrical engineer, agriculture engineering certain questions will be asked to you. Those of you who still have not registered themselves with the you know uh, mentors of Europedia please do that. 
uh, five uh, mocks you surely go uh, for uh, your you know for your preparation because uh, they will be telling you where you lack and how you have to proceed forward so please prepare very well for this so that you do really good in your interviews all the very best take these documents and start preparation with your pdf thank you